What's up guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to fix lag, drop frames and stuttering while using OBS Studio to record and stream. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. Lag can be induced by an unreliable network connection, or because your PC's components don't utilize enough resources. We will first of all take a look at your OBS Studio settings, which need to be optimized to your network connection and available resources. After opening up the software, select Settings. On this new window, go to the Output tab, and here, set the Output mode to Advanced. In the Streaming section, set the encoder to NVIDIA NVENC, if you have a powerful enough NVIDIA graphics card. If not, then set it to X264, which will utilize your CPU rather than your graphics processor. Your bitrate will depend on your network connection speed. I recommend testing your connection on speedtest.net. All links and resources will be listed in the description below. On speedtest.net, take a close look at your upload speed, which will determine how much bandwidth you can reserve for streaming. In my example, I could use a bitrate to up to 20,000, which is 20 megabytes per second. But using this much is not necessary. To stream in 1080p, a bitrate of 6,000 should be more than enough. And for 720p streaming, I suggest setting it to 3000, which is an upload speed of at least 3 megabytes per second. In my case, I am always streaming in 720p and 60fps. That's why I will set this value to 3500. Below, set the keyframe interval to 2 seconds, preset to performance and profile to main. These settings are, if you haven't already noticed, optimized for low to mid-end PCs. Next, in the recording section, I suggest setting the recording path to an SSD, if you have enough storage left. Otherwise, choose a folder in your HDD storage. I like to use MP4 as the recording format, which keeps the file size low and enables you to import it to any video editing software. Again here, set the encoder to NVIDIA NVENC or X264, depending on your GPU and CPU. Set your rate control to CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, and your bitrate to around 10,000. I am using 20,000, which will inflate the file size to 20 megabytes per recorded second, to get even more detail in my videos. This setting will not depend on your network connection. Keyframe interval is set to 2 seconds, preset to quality, profile to main, and max B frames to 2. Don't forget to apply your changes. In the video tab, set the base resolution to your native monitor resolution. In my case, it's 1080p. Your native display settings should show you your display resolution if you feel like your monitor has an abnormal resolution. The output or scaled resolution should be 1080p or 720p, depending on your upload speed. If you experience stuttering while playing a game and streaming or recording in 1080p, then I suggest you to set this to 720p and FPS to 60. This will also come down to personal preference and how demanding the game is you want to stream or record. If you have no clue what to use, then make a test stream to see what works best for you and your viewers. Lastly, set the downscale filter to be linear or be cubic to stream and lengthos to record to get a sharper image. In the advanced tab, Set the process priority to above normal, and you should be done with tweaking your OBS Studio settings. These settings are also applicable for Streamlabs OBS, if you prefer to use the dedicated streaming software. Next, we will make a few tweaks to improve your network connection and system performance. Search for CMD and hit enter, if you're using a Windows operating system. In your commands prompt, use the command ping google.com. This will test your current connection to Google's closest servers. Your average latency and packet loss will determine if you are getting any dropped frames and stuttering while streaming with OBS. If your ping is above 100 milliseconds or packet loss is above 0%, then you will have to make a few changes to your network connection. I strongly recommend using an Ethernet connection while streaming to ensure a reliable connection. Next. Restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices using the same connection. Next, use the command 
ipconfig slash flush dns to flush and reset the content of your dns resolver cache. This should help you a lot in reducing your latency. When this is done, you can exit out of your commands prompt and open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. On this window, go to the Network tab and open up the processes with Network Activity. Here, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be Steam, Spotify, your browser running in the background, or a download bottlenecking your connection. Only enter processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can preview your network utilization in percent. When going back to your task manager, you should close the processes which you don't need while streaming or recording. Again, this could be your browser or any other resource-intensive program. In the Startup tab, you can also prevent some programs from automatically starting up on System Boot. Lastly, search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, disable this option, which will otherwise record your gameplay while in-game. And in the Capture section, disable this option too. As always, make sure that your operating system and graphics driver is up to date. Search for Update to check if there are any updates available. Restart your PC after downloading the latest update and making all of these tweaks. If you are using an NVIDIA GPU, then I recommend using the GeForce Experience application to update your graphics card. In your application, navigate to Drivers, and here you will be able to automatically download and install the newest driver. If you want to know which components and router I am using at the moment, then check out the links in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.